Hey fast drivers, welcome to this tutorial for speedruns on Trackmania 2020 and especially for speedruns on the Community Speedrun, a campaign made of 25 beautiful tracks from 25 styles. You will first need OpenPlanet, which is a plugin library for Trackmania games. Install OpenPlanet in your Trackmania program folder, which should be located here. Program files, Ubisoft, Ubisoft Game Launcher, Games, Trackmania. Restart the game and press the F3 key to have access to the Open Planet menu. Then click on Plugin Manager and then Open Manager. Click on Search and install the Player State plugin by Tommy and the Speedrun plugin by Grip. These plugins will read the game data to calculate the time you spend driving on all tracks. For now, if you want to keep track of your life progression on a speedrun, you will need Life Speed, the most popular timer for speedruns. The use of Life Split is not required, but it is highly recommended. I advise you to download the custom installation of Life Split available in the Trackmania Speedruns Google Drive folder, link in the description. For the community speedrun, I recommend downloading the map asset, then extracting the zip folder and copy pasting the skins and media folder in your document slash trackmania folder. This will reduce loading time by having the map assets locally in your game folder instead of downloading them every time you restart the game. In the same Google Drive folder, you will also find the route for Eon42, the RPG map of a community speedrun. Let's now set up Live Split. Extract the Live Split zip folder and click on LiveSplit.exe. A white timer with a black background should appear on your screen. Live Split uses split files to record your progression and layout files to display it in a nice looking way. Load the split file for the category you want to speedrun. For the community speedrun, right click on Live Split, move your mouse over Open Split and select From File. Then go to Live Split folder, click on the Split File folder, then on Trackmania 2020 and on Community Speedrun. For other speedrun categories, you can create your own split file and you can also make your own layout file. A more in depth tutorial of Live Split is in the description of this video. Now do a right click on Live Split, move your mouse over Open Layout and click on From File. Select the Layout Files folder inside your Live Split folder and choose one of the three layout files. The default layout is the best looking one. The Streams layout is for people who want a transparent background. And the Horizontal layout is a tiny layout you can put at the top of the bottom of your screen. Once you have done that, you will connect Live Split to the Speedrun plugin. Right click on Live Split, click on Edit Split and on Activate. In the settings, make sure the server is enabled and that the port is 16934. Go back in game, open the Open Planet menu with F3, click on Open Planet and then on Settings. Click on Speedrun and on Live Split and make sure the Live Split client is enabled with the port 16934. Click on Keyboard Shortcuts and choose your shortcut keys to reset a speedrun or to manually skip to the next map. The Enable Keys option activates or deactivates the shortcut and the Combo Keys option lets you create a shortcut with a combination of two keys instead of one single key. Right click on Live Split, place your mouse over Compare Against and select Personal Best and Game Time. Right click again on Live Split, click on Settings and set a hotkey to Start, Pause and Reset the Timer in case the speedrun plugin is not working properly or if you want to use live speed for other use cases. I recommend numpad 4 for start, numpad 5 for pause and numpad 6 for reset. You may also want to set a hotkey to undo or skip a split. I recommend numpad 8 to undo a split and numpad 9 to skip a split. If you have any issue with live speed or the speedrun plugin, report it on the Trackmania Speedruns Discord. Let's now connect Live Split to TheRun.dg, which is a new super powerful website full of precise stats for your speedruns and where you can catch speedruns live. Head over to TheRun.dg and connect with your Twitch account. Click on the top right corner and choose Upload Key. Do not show that key to anyone. Copy that key, then right click on Live Split, click on Edit Layout, double click on TheRun.dg and paste your upload key. Finally, save your layout. Let's now set up the game so that you have the best performance on the maps during your speedruns. First, open your game settings and click on graphics. If you have a graphic card, make sure the game is running on your graphic card instead of the processor. Then click on customize and on none for the preset. Put your shader quality in low or very low to greatly improve FPS and select immediate for GPU-CPU synchronization. 
I recommend testing your graphics settings by enabling live split and recording your screen and then playing Mifodacin, which is the most resource intensive map of a community speedrun. You can view your in game FPS by pressing Shift and F2 to open the Ubisoft menu in game by clicking on the settings icon and clicking on display FPS counter in game. Some other Open Planet plugins will also be useful for your speedruns. The dashboard plugin shows your controller or keyboard inputs on the screen. The speedometer plugin shows your speed and your gears in a nice looking way. The better loading screen plugin shows custom heart of community maps during loading times instead of a default loading screen. The drive alone plugin skips the medal selection once you load the map. The ultimate medals plugin shows the different medals on each map, offer gold, silver and bronze medal. And finally, the tweaker plugin reduces the field of view on maps to greatly increase FPS. Let's now start our first speedrun. Open the open planet menu with F3 and click on scripts and on speedrun. You will now be able to choose the campaigns you want to speedrun. You can select multiple campaigns at a time for custom speedruns. You can choose either the community speedrun campaign, the training campaign, the official seasonal campaigns, the track of the day's monthly campaigns, and all the club campaigns available in game. Select the community speedrun and add it to your favorites. Now click on the stopwatch tab. You will need to enable the output of speedrun log files and the creation of replays in order to allow verification of the speedruns by the speedrun.com trackmania moderators. We also advise you to select auto skip to next map. For official speedruns with the split files provided on the Google Drive folder, click on split on no middle, split at every finish and normal speedrun mode. You can now click on start speedrun and go through all maps of your speedrun as fast as possible. The live split timer should automatically start at the end of the countdown on the first map. You only need to finish all maps once with no medals required for official speedrun categories. If you didn't select the auto skip option in the speedrun plugin settings, use your skip map hotkey or use the plugin menu to skip to the next map every time you finish a map. If a map doesn't load, launch it manually through the community speedrun campaign available in the club campaign's library and continue your speedrun as normal. If the same map loads again after you finish it, you can use your hotkey to skip to the next map and then resume your speedrun. To reset a speedrun, use the speedrun plugin menu or press your reset hotkey from the plugin settings. If the live speed timer doesn't reset, you can reset it manually by using the live speed reset hotkey. If the live speed timer doesn't start, go to your split settings, disable and enable the server and then reconnect the live speed client to the speedrun plugin. At the end of your speedrun, a folder will be created in your document slash trackmania slash speedruns folder. Inside, you will find the log of your total in-game time, which is mandatory for all submissions on the speedrun.com leaderboard for trackmania 2020. You will also find the replay files for all the maps you finished during the speedrun. Let's now submit your speedrun to the official leaderboards. Go to speedrun.com slash tm and select the correct category. Click on show rules and read the game rules and the category rules. Once you are aware of the rules, click on submit run. Open the log file of the speedrun you want to submit and copy paste the information in the description box. If it's too long, upload it to pastebin.com and share the resulting link in the description box. Look at the total in-game time at the bottom of the log file and copy that time in the in-game time section. Leave the time section empty. For all runs under the category cutoff time, share the video link to your speedrun. You can record your game with built-in screen recording apps like GeForce Experience. Recording your live speed window as well with OBS is not required but always appreciated. Video quality must be at least 360p and you should show the game interface before crossing any finish line so we can clearly see the finish time. Only YouTube and Twitch videos are embedded on speedrun.com. If you streamed on Twitch, please make a highlight video of your run as regular Twitch VODs are deleted automatically after a few weeks. If your run is over the category cutoff time and don't have a video recording of the run, compress the replay files of your speedrun into a zip folder and upload it to any file sharing website like Google Drive. Then, share the link in the video link section of the submission, click on submit and wait for magic to happen. Please join the Trackmania Speedruns Discord so that we can easily contact you if we need more information to validate your run. The link to the Discord is in the description of this video. 
Thanks for following that tutorial. If you found it informative, I would love if you could like the video and post a comment. I will see you next time for some speedruns. Bye bye.